it would be irresponsible of me to not make this video. Uh, plus, it, this video, um, albeit hopefully is brief, will teach you something else. So, regarding the baffle plate and rocker cover, this car came in quite a state. So, stuff's been misinstalled, bolts have been left loose, the timing belt's broken, whatever. But, when I took this out... God fucking hell, do not do this. When you lift the rocker cover, do that. Because... The Frenchies have got something in store for you. For people like me that go, well, look, single overhead cam reminds me of a that's and Sunny, right? Now, that didn't come out easy, but still, right, you've then got this, right? So now you're like, ah, okay, make sure you've got these. Always check for stuff. And washers and O-rings and things that fall in. I haven't checked yet. I will check right now with you because I'm over this. I've been inundated today and it's funny, like, I'm not going to complain. Oh, we make money, we don't make money, but it's every single car. It's just like in and out, in and out. This entire day has been spent advising people that have been ripped off on cars, changing computers at dealers, etc., etc. Yet this is where it goes all very wrong and pe the customer doesn't see it. So, for your DIYs and for whoever wants to know, see these little giveaway marks? Like now, we've taken this out and we're all confused. This is what the video is about. It's about that and it's about just taking a step back, leave it, go have a coffee, a tea. Where's my tea? How painful should I make this? Where's my tea? I'm getting my tea. I'm over it. I'm getting my cup of tea. Okay. All right. So look for telltale signs, right? Like over here. Had this had the little drip tray on it, it wouldn't really be dirty like that, would it? So that's what you do on cars. Like this tea, if I left it, would leave a rim, a mark around the rim, right? Now, this all, it didn't fall out on me. Right, these were rolling around inside. I want to know what the fuck's going on. I couldn't actually get this out, and then it just fell out. Right now, I know that by common sense, this is this and this is the top, but at the end of the day, what can happen here is I'm, I'm not going to go through. I've already done a few takes on misinstalling it deliberately just because I'm bored, but you could end up hitting these, hitting that whatever these in there right it's really really bad and then you look at it and you're like oh does that go in there what does that do so go have a break get your tea now we're not going to go into how pcv and emissions and baffles work but you can start to look at telltale marks now why i'm saying this is that this could have been already misinstalled by someone else so if i just use trial and error and then look very carefully see this here can you see this lighter bit? And can you see that that bit there is longer? And then all of a sudden it appears that that one is longer than that one. And that's just the beginning. So telltale marks when you mix bolts up, when you mix washers up. See that? That's that's married into that surface. Okay, but that wasn't that wasn't enough for me. Okay, battery's off. That wasn't enough for me. So I miss. I went to misinstall it. Now it's not easy to misinstall it, but in saying that, this is how you do it. Okay. Now I'm already already confused because I'm holding a camera. So what I do, I get this rock cover the right way around, right? Uh, the way I do it is that. Okay. Now, we've got the shorter bit there and the longer indentation there. So we marry them up. Right? And you can see already, oh, wrong way. So it goes that way. Okay? So now which way was it? I'm confused again. It's that way. Okay. Then we marry up other telltale marks and then basically 
take this and double check it again because I'm confused. In reality, if you're being honest, this is the way the human mind constantly doubts itself and causes pains to crash. In fact, I'm not even confident I've done the right thing still, right? But I know now from trial, I have, I am. So, so again, marrying, uh, marrying marks. See the marry marks there? You can see there. Okay, this looks like it's falling together quite well. Finally, when we turn this again, which way was it? Oh yeah, that way with the Citron thing up. Are we sure it's that way? Yes, we are, right? The PCV comes right over this long thing I've hooked up over the bonnet. So now, don't look at the rock cover, misinstalled from the last people. This car might have bent valves. I don't think so, but whatever. Now, again, we're gonna look for the marriage marks. Okay, and there we go. See the line, see the lightness, and the short, and there's the long. Now, it seems like I'm just, you know, but this is what happens, and believe it or not, <laughs> just then you heard that noise, right? What was that noise? So this is what happens now, and this is why I'm making the video. Oh, did something go wrong? Would it have gone on with that mislocated? I don't believe so, but now is when the dowels fall into the engine. So, see what this car's doing to me? Where is it? Is it up here? Yeah, it is. It's gone up and the dowels have fallen out inside. And now we start, this is how the video was um, inspired. And let the hell go again. And I swear to God, as a mechanic, right? I could still fuck it up. It's just a cunt. It's something so simple that could go so wrong. Lucky there's only two bolts, and if it goes, you're gonna know, but it's not the way, is it? It's absolutely not the way. So let's do it again. Okay, long side to long side. Right, like that. Ah, oh. <laughs> good example again. This has been reversed. So we're now the wrong way. I was gonna take it that way. No, it's not. It's that way. Okay, PCV on the right. Okay. And this is what you're seeing is the human mind constantly, constantly doubting itself. So now I'm again, right? Oh, yep, that way. Okay. So marriage mark. Yep. Is it? Did you see what I just did? And there you go. That's how you fuck a car. So... Short, long. Short. Long. See that? Long, long, marriage marks, don't do it with one hand, it's idiotic, idiotic and risky, okay, you want to be holding the baffle down, can't have a thing, so I just sort of made an iPad of myself, some people have called me that, but this is where it goes wrong and you're in your driveway like a fucking idiot with god knows what jammed under the camshaft hope that helps and that's life goodbye